Hello everybody and welcome to Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday. Molly is outside with me. Um, I've just had a cup of coffee in the garden. It's a little bit overcast. Uh, weather not too nice, uh, but never, never mind. It's fine. I haven't been able to sit down because it's a bit wet, uh, but that's okay. I've been standing up and I've, I've had my cup of coffee with my Queen Elizabeth mug, my Queen Elizabeth design mug. I won't turn the camera around because my hair is absolutely frightful at the moment. So I'll, I'll open the vlog properly a little bit later, but this morning, uh, Matt went to work, and on the way, he started to have a little bit of a cough. He he went to the car park at school. He did the government um, test, like he went through all the kind of health test stuff, and basically, it recommended that he have a another a second coronavirus test. So he informed work, and they said to obviously come home. So he came home, woke me up, and basically said um, he's putting himself in for a test. I fell back to sleep. He's been and had the test, and obviously we're waiting now for the results. Um, basically, we are now isolating for two days, for 48 hours, until we get the test results back. So, joy of joys. Hey everyone, it's a little bit later. Sorry I forgot to vlog and open the vlog properly, like I said, but here is dinner. I've just done literally a microwave special. We've got ready, it's a ready done dinner. Um, so I microwaved some carrot and swede, Carrot, or it's carrot and something. Um, I, there's some mashed potato, which I pimped with some cheese. There is a Yorkshire pudding with some sprouts and some broccoli and then some sausages. So there we go, that's tonight's dinner. Microwave and oven special. Oh, and also gravy, but I pimped it as well. I put some herbs and spices in it, yay. Ah, we're trying um, something different. We've been to a different supermarket today and we've got some potato, what they call potato wedges, um, but they were- Herby potato wedges. Herby potato wedges and chicken Kiev and some veg because I really love cauliflower and broccoli. So we've actually been to Morrison's today. Mm. Um, so I'll tell you tomorrow a little bit more about Sainsbury's. So people in America, because when I was in San Francisco, they had the same choppers under a different name. It's still Safeway. Oh, uh, I thought it was Shaw's. No, it's Safeway. Oh, well, I think at one point Sainsbury's did buy Shaw's, but Morrison's must have... Morrison's bought Safeway. Oh, yeah. Morrison's was Safeway, okay. Anyway, that's our dinner for tonight. Looks yummy. Hi everybody, it's Thursday morning. I'm outside, the cats have gone in, Molly and Rory and Bo, and look who I've just seen. It's a Brian. Hello, Mr. Brian, how are you doing? <laughs> Hello, monkey. You are a little monkey, aren't you? What are you doing? Hey, sweetie. He's like, no, don't follow me, I'm going. I'm going, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Right, okay, so today, Thursday, uh, not only have I got lots more work to do, uh, but also I'm taking my mum and dad to look at that show home that we went to see before. So they want to have a look, um, obviously, before we make any any um, any moves on it. I don't know. I really don't know what we're going to do. Uh, but anyway, I, I want them to have a look. So that's basically what we're going to do. And there we go. Hi everybody, it is a Sunday morning and again it's been one of those weeks where I've not really done much vlogging because not a lot's happened, we're still in lockdown. Um, but yeah, let's just give the little Molly girl a bit of a cuddle in the sunshine. It is quite nice and bright today in the sunshine on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning. Um, I think we did have a Brian around yesterday, I'm not sure if he's around today. Rory's out, Bo's in. Oh, that might be a Brian there. Yes, I do believe it might be. Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Brian. How are you doing? We'll leave you in peace. But yeah, Brian's about, Molly's about, they're all about just one of those days again. Um, basically, second lockdown is, oh, I don't know, it's, well, it's certainly not as interesting as the first because obviously Matt's back, back at work. So for me, it's just a case of plodding on, really. And that's what, that's what lockdown's all about. Right, the baby's going outside for the first time in a while. <laughs> and he really wants to go. Right, hello. But I always feel a bit weird because, look, we've got, we've got a big, massive gap there. And he can kind of get out. So we like him to kind of... I'd like there to be two people in case he, he wanders off. Come on then, where are you going? We want you over this way. If we put him over here. Might help. Come on then. 
Come on, sweetie. You can come. I know it's quite windy as well at the minute. Hi. Oh, come on then. Oh, you're going that way. Oh, it's windy. Oh, hello. No. Ah. Right under the cars. Come on, sweetie. He's hiding under the cars because of the wind. Do we have any other cars? Oh, we've got a Rory. Got a Rory over here and a Brian. There's Rory. And there's a Brian right under there. We've got a Molly. Hello, girl. Are you going to try and flush him out? I think you should. Ooh, look at my shadow. Hello, shadow. Oh, it's an elegant shadow. Oh, hey. I see a baby. I do see a baby. Hello. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, Bobo. Bobo, what you doing? Oh, you sniffing. Hello. I don't think she does want to go in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobs. And then we got a Molly there. Oh, now you want to go in, do you? Oh, what you do? Do you want to go in? I oh, know, no, he's running, he's running. You look like a ferret when you run. <laughs> Don't you? You look all ferrety when you run. Yes, you do. Hey. Oh, here comes a Rory. Oh, where's a Rory? Oh, there's one. I see a Rory. Oh. You have abandoned Brian. On the catwalk, on the catwalk, yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> what you doing? Oh, got we've got <laughs> a boy there. Hello, Mr. Bobs. Hey, Bobobina. What is it? What you doing? Oh, run, run, run. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. <laughs> oh no, he's in the hedge. But he can't get through that side, so I think we're fine. He is, he was just sat in the grass. But he's just been in the hedge, he just had a bit of a dig around. See, he really does love a garden, so um, if and when we move, he'll be able to go out all the time. And he'll be able to have a nice enclosed garden where it's nice and safe. And he can just roam around and do cat things. Do cat things. With cats. Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. We're taking another little look at a home. So, we're in a, a new show home. Yeah. Aren't we? Let's have a little peek. So, this obviously is a study. Um, I actually really like this. Um, it's a good sized study, and that's the kind of desk I was thinking that we could have for whatever bedroom yeah. or study because it's big yeah. enough for you to sit at and get your yes. legs under because that's yes. the problem we have with the current one <laughs> but no that is quite nice i actually really quite like mm -hmm. that and it's nice being at the front yeah. very high of the ceiling. house I can't reach it's the very high ceiling though it's a, to be honest it's a good proportioned study and i suppose you could even use it as a kid's playroom if you were yeah. if you had kids so that's quite good the hallway i'm liking the size of the hallway i think it's the same carpet as us Pretty, no, no, it's not as, I don't think it's as expensive as ours. Oh, actually, this is, oh, I know what, I like this. Look at the light, people. Um, a beautiful big bay window. That is huge. Um, it's, well, it's not, no, actually, it's not even a bay. It's just a big window. Yeah. Look, it's not even a bay. It's just a big, huge window. It's kind of very deceptive. So, you've got the TV there. Obviously, you've got this nice cut, so you've got a nice corner for a sofa. Yeah. That's what I was on about in the other one. So you can imagine if you were like sat down here lounging, yeah. um, how big it would be. See, because that unit's a bit lower than ours. See what I mean about it being high up and a bit wide? Yeah. But this room's quite a big room, isn't it? Ooh. Let's have a little. You do have a corridor. Let's have a little peek. 
Ooh, this is quite stunning. <laughs> it is. Because you've got the nice breakfast bar. Yeah. Which is kind of like what we wanted. You've got the beautiful big kitchen. Yeah, it's huge. Very hyacinth bouquet laid out kitchen. Yeah. Ginormous dining room. Ginormous. I like the table actually. <laughs> Might need to buy a new one. And they've done the curtain trick that I looked. I, I looked at this curtain trick. Can you notice what the curtain trick is? What have they done with those curtains that makes it look more impressive? Oh, floor They've hung them higher. Look, oh, look where they've put. Most people would hang them there. And this is what I tried to do with our dining room curtains, oh, but I, I couldn't go higher because of the beams. Yeah. But I tried to hang them as high as possible because it gives that beautiful kind of hotel luxurious yeah. feel by having floor length, but right from the top. A good design tip. Um, this is huge because you could actually have the table further up and you could have this area as a TV. You could. And sofa, so I actually quite like that. Um, gardens. Now, in these, the yeah, this is probably several altogether because that's what we learned from the other house. Yeah, but it, have a garage. it does. I don't think you can go out. No. But yeah, that's kind of the gardens, kind of what you get. Um, but obviously, more small. There's some fireworks there. Oh, yeah, people have had fireworks going on. So, this is probably like the average length of a mm. garden in a kind of new build. It's not bad, to be fair. No, it's kind of you quite could do good. wonders with it. I could do wonders. Um, oh, first, hang on, I need to check check out the cupboards. So we've got a nice double uh, Zanussi oven uh, grill. Nice cupboards there. Um, yeah. Got yeah. cupboards there. Uh, Pandras, mm -hmm. I think, probably. Pandras. That, that's ooh, actually, yeah, that's a fridge freezer, but like under counter. Oh, that's cool. Under counter fridge freezer. Oh, there's no dishwasher. There is. Oh, there might be. There still might be. I reckon that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. There Zanussi. It so it's all Zanussi appliances. Got the cupboard. Um, so no pantry cupboard. No. Um, but, but no, that's, yeah, there's plenty of cupboard space. That's and fine. And we've got even more in here. We have. Ooh. So yeah, a beautiful utility. Um, ooh, no space for tumble dryer. No, but I imagine you could have one of those left out. Um, yeah, so no no separate tumble dryer, but boiler. Yeah. Was it a Bosch, Worcester Bosch? Worcester Bosch boiler. Worcester Bosch. Uh, I imagine the circuit board. Yeah. Um, so I reckon you could probably, this might be the, oh, toilet. I was thinking garage, but no, no toilet. Downstairs loo. Downstairs loo. Perfectly mm -hmm. adequate. Mm -hmm. To do the to do the you know what thing, yeah. Um, but yeah, perfectly adequate. So you'd probably either have to have your tumble dryer in the garage, or you'd have to have a one that does both. I really like those shelves. Yeah, they're really cool, and I like I actually I like the proportion of the room is actually quite big. Yeah, which is really nice. Okay, let's take a look upstairs. Ooh. Oh, by the way, quality of the uh, that looks like brushed nickel. I think I'm Ooh. thinking maybe Not brushed. Up to your standard. Oh well, no, that's fine. I thought you were allergic to nickel. I am, but I just wouldn't touch it that much. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the stairs are really high. Yeah. See, that one. Okay, where should we start? Let's go this way. Yeah. Let's go this way. So I'm ignoring all the... <gasps> okay, this is wow. Oh, wow. That's a wow. This, I'm guessing it's the master because the ensuite. I was oh. immediately drawn to it, but yes, look at... Ooh. Wardrobe. Nice I'm gonna step back so we can get a good. So you open them and then we'll have a good. Oh, they look quite, quite cavernous, don't they? Oh, it goes through. Oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I can see you. Hi. Wow. Well, if you can get you in it, <laughs> you're tall. Um, no, that's really good size because you've got a lot of space and because it's almost like equal. You have got like his and hers, or his and his, or yeah. hers and hers. Whatever, whatever your fam, whatever your family makeup might be. Uh, <laughs> No one's judging. Ooh, ooh, no, no, this is my thing. Why in these expensive homes do they not have a rainfall shower? Also, Look. Why, why is the shower so low that I have to duck um, it in? Yeah, look, we, we're having height issues. Yeah. But no, I would, I would, why aren't they putting um, rainfall showers as standard? I know. Especially when you're spending a lot of money on the houses, yeah. then you, you you need to kind of have a nice rainfall. Oh yeah, so it's probably split ah, control, I don't know. 
It's very similar to the Laura Ashley mirror. Ooh, double bedroom. Um, yeah, regular s- standard size double bed. This is how they made the room look bigger than it is though. With a low down double bed. Yeah, that's not a high bed. No. Yeah, that's a, it's a low down bed. So perfect if you're not very tall. Uh, I mean, okay, this is space for, for wardrobe. So yeah. if you were having probably an, it's probably an optional extra, that would be the natural space for a wardrobe, yeah. which would then push your bed slightly more over this way. Mm. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's not a bad size for a kind of second or third bedroom. No. Not quite sure. Oh, this must be like the box room. So yeah, single bed, children's room, or an upstairs study. Um, you know. There you go. Oh, look at the picture though, my bear. I'll oh, change it to my bow. So again, from the upstairs, just to kind of get a kind of sense of like where the neighbors are located in these sorts of developments. So you've got a house over there. You're kind of not really overlooked by that little window there because it's probably a no. toilet window. And you can't really see into there. Guys. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's like massively overlooked. Just a touch overlooked. Oh, bear rug, look. Oh. There's a bear rug. I like the bear rug. Left or right? Uh, left. Okay, that was an executive bedroom. decision. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, crabby airing cupboard. Just a, just a space. That. Oh, it's an oh, it's an overstairs cupboard, isn't it? That's oh, like a, yeah. that awkward space. But they've made use of it. To be fair, yeah, because cool. you could put a rail across and hang some clothes, yeah, or, or you can just use it as storage. storage. And then there's a deep wardrobe. Yeah, that's very deep, actually. Yeah. Probably didn't even need to be that deep, but it's but it is. it's a good storage. You've got lots of storage boxes. Uh, again, they've done the trick with the curtains, they which have. I might take that. Cause now I've actually seen it. Yeah. I, I'd read about it, but now that I've seen it, that is a really good trick. Mm. So it's actually a curtain affixed to the ceiling and then like a track and then you, you yeah. trail it on. So yeah, I, I like those. Um, and then the bedroom. Mm. Lots of pillows. Yeah. <laughs> And again, you'd probably naturally put a wardrobe over here. That's a natural space. Once again, shower height issue. Yeah, that is, that is, and again, no rainfall. No. My, bath, my bug bear. Should we do the bath test? <laughs> Shall I try it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh I'm, well, I'm perfect. Look, I mean, I can actually... <laughs> I can I can fully recline in this you bath. Can, it's a nice deep. bath. It's deep. Um, oh, look at that weird tap. <laughs> okay. Um, no, that's. Yeah, I'm kind of. Yeah, you know, it's a good side bathroom because there's space there for a storage unit as well, yeah. if you Ooh, wanted. Must be the area covered. Um, kind of. Um, well, I mean, there's no boiler, so it must. It's either got a tank upstairs or it's a combi boiler. I didn't check, but I would imagine. Yeah, this is just another really big storage cupboard. No, let me out. <laughs> um, okay, I quite like this. Oh, loft hatch up there as well. Oh, yeah. Um, again, I don't know why new house builders aren't building loft hatches with those, like, stairs attached that come down. Yeah. Because, well, just why not? They're not, not even that much money. It's like 100 quid or something. Um, and it saves people having them put in later, and it's kind of more safety. So again, room for a chair if you want. Oh, someone, look, that's not right. I'm moving that. There you go. Well, that's better. And that's wonky. Uh, okay, I quite, I, I quite like the finish of this one. I did quite like it. Yeah. Um, the quality of finish was quite good. So yeah, not bad. Mm. Like it. Hi everyone, we're in a different developer, in a different home. So we've literally, the ladies just kind of walked us in through the back door. So this is a three bed. Just have a quick look at the garden. Uh, so I think this must be, I mean, it's a quite a small garden. Nice sparkly light, got a dining table. It's a nice kitchen. Um, okay, this, I mean, this is a good use of space. Look, because they've got shallow cupboards. So you've got a nice shallow cupboard yeah. to make use. I mean, you could also, because you've got a breakfast bar anyway. The kitchen's quite small. Yeah. Um, microwave utility. Microwave and utility, which kind of shows there's not a lot of space in the main kitchen. Yeah, because it's even on the drain. Door. Again, there's no room for a separate washer dryer. So you've got to have one that does both. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could have wall cupboards, could make up a bit more yeah. space. That's in the gap back garden looks like that would be the driveway, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, driveway to garage. Yeah, that would be the yeah. driveway. So that's basically the front door. Mm. I mean, fridge freezer. 
what's this in? Oh, look at this. <laughs> what would you put in that? Okay, Ants, can someone comment in the video what you would put in there? Probably bags, carrier bags. Um, it's a small kitchen. Yeah, no dishwasher. Um, this must be a, corn, a corner cupboard where, okay. Um, and, okay. No dishwasher. There's no dishwasher, is there? No. <gasps> oh. Oh. And these are Bovis homes, aren't they? Yeah. I don't like the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay. Downstairs loo? Yes. Now this is a big loo. Yeah, why does it need to be this big? Why didn't they put more of the kitchen in? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Why is, okay. it, a, why is it a big loo? Well, it's like front door. No. Why is that a massive loo? Uh, living room. It's a decent size, though. Really. Yeah. I mean, again, they've got... I know. We're having, having another height issue. <laughs> yeah, are you having deja vu of your mother's? I am. Um, so, yeah, the ceilings aren't... Are they as tall or not? It's just... No, it's just... Touch so... Any kind of light we have, I'm not going to be under. Yeah. So, basically, it's, it's got a lot of windows. Yeah. What's that all behind you? Uh, but it means in the living room, you can't really have a chair in the corner here. No. So it's, it's an ex, what I'm trying to say is there's lots of windows, which kind of makes furniture yeah. placement a little bit weird. They've also, oh, there is a teleport there, so they've got teleport down there. Yeah, it's probably so you can have it in either place, really. Yeah. You can have it facing whatever. So you could have a sofa across there. Yeah. Again, they've got the TV cabinet low, yeah. which is kind of what I want. That's kind of the height that I wanted for, for, when we do move, yeah. but I don't think we're going to be moving into this one. No. But um, but yeah, I, I like the colours. The colours are nice. I like yeah. the colours. Let's go upstairs. Oh, it says please remove your shoes, but I don't think I'm going to. Mine are clean. Yeah. Okay, so, box room number one. Oh, that is cute. That is cute. Look at that. Oh, that That's one of the things I love looking around show homes is it gives you so much ideas of what to do. Yeah. That is a gorgeous little cute bed. Oh, monkeys. Oh, that's a bow room. It is. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. But the garden's tiny. It is. That is a tiny garden. Aaron cupboard? Yeah. Well, it's not even an energy, it's just a store just cupboard. Cupboard. Which is handy, storage is good. Yeah. Uh, we like storage. Bedroom, space for a wardrobe. Yeah, so you've got to imagine if that was boxed in with a wardrobe, the room would yeah. look smaller. But you've got quite a nice space yeah. at the bottom of the bed. That is not a king size bed, that is a double. Yeah. So, so again... Bed, just about fit in here. My room probably would be it would, it would just, the but the bedside cabinets would be right up to the door. Yeah. Um, Again, that light is low over your bed. Yeah. What, in finish? <laughs> the, the ceilings aren't that high. No. Um, just so you can kind of look at the stars. Yeah, it's quite a nice stairs. Again... I mean, I like the window. Um, it's kind of weird. Yeah, and It's the weird. It's a dust there. trap. Um, yeah. There's the shower buttons in the middle. Shower buttons. Or is that the bath button as well? Is that the bath tap? I reckon that, that's the bath tap because it's got one of those like central taps. The, the bath's quite nice. Yeah. But again, you haven't got a stand-up shower no. above it. Um, I don't think I like the window. <laughs> it's, it's not... Um, I don't know. Look at that. Look at that. How low. Did you bang yourself? I know. That is, that's too encroaching. Yeah. Tally on the wall. Okay, I mean, you get it's nice to have a little dressing area. Uh, I'll give it that. A decent size, sweet. Uh, you've probably got the same issue same with the issue, head. Yeah, the the Again, no rainfall shower. Why don't they? Why do they not do it? Yeah. Plugs in the middle. That's some kind of unusual. Um, yeah. uh, boxed in lead. So there's obviously toilet pipes there. That is a dust trap. I've got that already in the house. Yeah. I don't like that because I'm forever wiping it. Um, hmm. I'm a little... Oh, so, um, so you've got to pay extra. For that wardrobe. Yeah, so you have to pay extra for the wardrobe. I mean, it's not bad quality. No. Um, you know, but... But, no. <laughs> no. I don't like this house. Neither do I. 
Um, no. She said she's going to show us a bungalow next. <laughs> I want to see a bungalow. I love bungalows. I like bungalows. And again, this side window on the stairs is literally overlooking your neighbours. I mean, you can see into their living room. Look down there. Oh, let see what, if they're watching EastEnders or not. <sighs> They've got a bit of Strictly on. Right, so there we go. That completes this house. Oh, I did. I do like these. The little peephole. I love, peephole. I love the peephole door. You've got to love the peephole door. Right. Um, oh, bog standard white. Yeah. No brushed nickel. Okay. There we go. It's the kitchen that's a letdown for me, yeah. re really. It's tiny. It is tiny. It's, it's a small three bed for not a small price. There we go, that concludes our little tour, my love. Okay, we are in another new home. It's, a, it's the same developer as the last one, but it's a bit bigger. Um, wow, I'll show you in a minute, but we've just been shown in. This is really nice mm -hmm. because we thought the other one was a bit small. This is um, a beautiful breakfast room. Can you hold that a minute? Cheers. Um, wow. Now this is nice. There is a dishwasher this time, but it's not standard. <laughs> it's a little extra. It's a little extra. I'm a little extra. Ooh, can't, is it very, very close to that cupboard? Mm. Um, okay. Um, and there's a dirty spoon in there. Someone's not had Ooh. it on. It's a hot point. Ooh, a bit, it's a bit stiff. Okay. Ooh, I'm a, what's a bit extra? What's a bit extra? Like a, I don't know. In depth. A boiler in there, a potterton. That is a. Yeah, it's weird. Um, There's the fridge. Yeah. I'm guessing that's the fridge. Oh, guess where they keep all their lunch. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this must be where they make their tea. Um, I mean, pan drawers. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, they're just regular cupboards, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. So you have got like another where you put your pans in there. So from your kitchen here, you'd look and you'd see a nice, I mean, that's a big table. Yes. Um, a mirror as well. Mm, yeah. They like their dangly lights. One thing we forgot to show you in the other house was they've got these speaker systems. Mm. So we think it's like integral yeah. sound systems, maybe? maybe. Oh, look, there's a diamond. Oh, my ring. Um, <laughs> a choice of um, options. Flooring. Mm, table scratched. <laughs> so, uh, and again, they're doing the trick with the full length curtains. It's a big room, that's a big uh, kitchen. This system is equipped for voice commands. Oh, there you go. Voice commanded system. It's Alexa, it's your favourite thing. Oh, I'm, I'm not having a house with Alexa built in. Oh, cupboard. Not with her spine. Oh, the Henry. There's a Henry. Oh, look, hey, look, look. There's a big, like, system. Oh. That must do the integrated um, Alista. So those speakers pick up, they, they record everything in your entire house. Everything you do, everything you say. Wow. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's a utility toilet. Yeah. I've never seen one of these before, but it's actually not a bad idea. Washer. So you've got your Bosch, your washer. Nice um, no room for a dryer. Well. You could put it there. You could put it there. But you'd have to tinker with the kitchen. Oh. Oh. That's an issue. Issue. And then you can't get into there, so that's wasted space. Yeah. Um, okay. But it is nice though. Hmm. I mean, it's... It's, uh... Do you know what it reminds me of? That it reminds me of, like, a public toilet. No, it does. It reminds me of, like, someone's public loo. I like the trick with the mirror, because you've got a big mirrored panel which doubles the space. Yeah. I might remember that one. A study in here. Um, study. Perfectly adequate. Mm. Um, who is they? Oh, it's his home. <laughs> <laughs> Just random people. Um, okay. Hallway, security alarm. Don't know if that's extra. Oh, that light is horrible. Oof. That is horrendous. Oof. That is horrendous. Like you've got two big, two big blue Smurf nipples on your ceiling. Ah! This living room is the same size as the other one. Yeah, and it feels smaller. Oh, it's got security cameras. Oh, so it has. Where? I know it came up on the screen. Oh, okay. Hope no one's watching. 
Um, okay. Um... I don't like this one either. No. The ceilings are higher though. They, they are higher. Oh. Those lights are hideous. They are. I'm sorry, if anyone's got those lights, you've got no taste. Please mm-hmm. change them immediately. Oh. I reckon that's a good... Don't press it. Lock. I don't want to get buzzed. <laughs> this security thing, un- you can unlock the house. Oh. Because there's one person in, I think. Lock oh. the house. Okay. Right, let's, let's, what are we doing? Uh, I thought he told you what the buttons did. Oh, okay. Let's go up. <laughs> I'm not keen, my loves. Right, let's go. Ooh, this must be the master. Okay. Okay. So you've got a walk-in wardrobe, which um, is kind of quite tight. Yeah. But then you've got your shower. Ensuite. Again, we've got the issue with the height. No rainfall. <clears throat> no rainfall. Um, Very very close to the shower. Yeah, I mean, you are There's literally... There's wiggle room, is there? There's no wiggle room. You can't shake a stick at anything in there. No. My loves. Um, bedroom. Yes. Station, yeah, the, the bedroom is quite big. They like their big dangly lights, they do. don't they? Glam station. A glam station. For when I'm getting glam. Okay, I'm a bit... Are they, are they different people? No, same people. Oh. But it looks like two different people. It does to me. Ooh, who's that? Uh, ooh. Oh, how pretentious to have your wedding photos in your bedroom of yourself. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not one of those sorts of people. No. Not at all. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Wardrobe there as well. There is space for a wardrobe. But oh, it's got a dingy thing. Oh, what dingly thing? The door. Oh, yeah, just to stop it from... It's not straight. It's not straight. Um, yeah, I mean, it's fairly small, but... Yeah. A kid's bedroom. Yeah. But, no, it's, I mean, it's done out as, like, a teenager's room, I suppose, with, like, a desk and... Hmm. Ooh. Mm. I mean, I kind of... I like the garden. The garden's nice. Yeah. Not massive, but I like how they've designed it. Um, now this is a bit dangerous look because yeah. when you're opening it and you've literally got the stairs Ooh. right behind it's really good, yeah um, yeah but no it's dangerous because if you have a little bit of a stumble backwards from that cupboard or you know you're right down there yeah and they're quite steep stairs they are pink pink room sink the pink Space for wardrobe again. Oh, yeah. Hang on, there's a TV oh. point there and space for wardrobe. So you can either have a telly or have a wardrobe. You can't have both. Uh, yeah, <laughs> basically. Um, so, yeah, it's, it is a small bedroom. It is. Um, but, yeah, I'm not particularly... Imp- what are these, Bovis? Yeah. I'm not overly impressed with these ones. No. Shower and bath. Um, okay. Right. Now, why aren't new homes doing these nice shower walls like I've got? Because yeah. they're so much better than tiles. They really are. Although I quite like the marble effect. Again, the kind of bath with the central tap system thing. No rainfall again. That is a bugbear of mine when it comes to new homes. I like. I do like a rainfall. This is a bigger bedroom. Yeah. This. Well, it's not the master. This must be the second. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a scary photo. Look at that. Oh, that's scary. They were caught in the wires. <laughs> they were caught in the wires. But I quite like the positioning of this home because you know they're not going to build in front because that's obviously a bit of a green space. Yeah. Because those must be protected trees. And you can kind of see it's like a close. So I kind of, I, qu- I quite like the positioning of it. It's so quite it's a good. Shoe. Orange a shoe. Orange shoe at the bottom what? of the tree. Oh, it might be. A, oh, it's not, it's not a croc, is it? Oh, it looks like a croc. Can you zoom in? I can kind of zoom in. Can you see it? Oh, that could be it. Is it a bag? Oh, it's either a bag or a croc. Oh. I'm not entirely sure. Go down oh, we, we don't do crocs, people. Uh, uh, right. I mean, it's a lovely house, but I'm not blown away by it. No. It wouldn't make me want to... Live here. No, and how much was this? 350? 350. No. 350, and it's not even got a separate shower and bath. Mm-mm. No. No, it hasn't, has it? Oh. No. No. You bet the oak was 340. I mean, the stairs are quite big. I mean, they're quite they could, I mean, they grand. could have built over the stairs a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're wide. These stairs are wide. 
I would say. Yeah. Um, but it's much better when you come in from the main doorway to not see a toilet. Yeah. Um, that's quite a nice, quite a nice hallway, yeah. which I quite like. Uh, but those are hideous. Those lights. Why? Why would Why you do not? that? No, they're like, no, they are on because it's just the LED strips and they're probably colour changing. Oh, they're probably colour changing, but no. 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 It's not classy, darlings. No. It's not classy. Right. Okay, I think we're done here. Okay, so we're now pulling up at the Morrison's car park and we're going to go food shopping. So I might try and get a little bit of footage for you there. Ooh. Smell the fishies. Maybe they do. So we've bought some hot sausage rolls. They're <laughs> well, not hot, but they are. Uh, bread. I think I think we're okay for bread, aren't we? I think we're quite good for bread. Um, yeah. So we've got a hearty selection over there. Hey everybody, it's time to end the vlog. Matt's playing computer games. But I realised that whenever I end the weekly vlog, Matt's never in it because he's always here playing computer games. Yeah. So I thought we would go to him today to say goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed our home reviews. We do good, honest home reviews, don't we? I like reviewing homes. We fun. do, we really enjoy reviewing the homes. So anyway, it's the end of a weekly vlog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from us in Tropshire, to you all and goodbye. Bye.